today though is going to be an interesting topic because I feel like when it comes to falling in love, that's the easy part, right? It's easy to see someone, you think someone's cute, you fall in love. But the next part is maintaining a long-term relationship. What's up? It's Sonia. Welcome to another episode of Men Explained. My guest today is a guy that I apparently sort of grew up with. He reminded me about it when we met uh, due to work. Please welcome John. Hello everyone. I'm John from MOSG and Vulcan Post and Gravity Media. I've been with my wife for 13 years this year. I'm very much in love. At least for me. I don't know about her. Lah. For a lot of us, we are very envious also of a relationship like this because some people, even some of my friends, they can spend years traveling, you know, working overseas, meeting mm. tons of people, and yet they just cannot meet the right one. But you mm. feel like you met the one, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. sure. So what does the, the word loyalty mean to you then? I feel like loyalty is not possible with everyone. Mm. Like, you can be a loyal person by nature, mm. but if you're not with the right partner... Yeah, yeah. Loyalty feels like a huge trade-off. Mm. And I think Pat and I struggled with that. Oh, really? My first real job was in the influencer marketing industry. Yeah. So my first colleagues and the first clients, mm. the influencers per se, right, mm. were some of the best-looking, most popular people in Singapore. I right? see. And there was some she'd get um, very... She wouldn't feel so good Yeah, about it. you yeah. know, she, yeah. she, she feels very insecure for some of them. Very, yes. very particular few only. And to me, that limits me. But if being a good boyfriend to you mm. means I can't enjoy other aspects of life. And I don't mean multiple relationships yeah, and yeah, like yeah, sex yeah, parties yeah. and all yeah, that stuff, yeah. right? I mean like going to a party with some influencers. Yeah. It's still fun. You know what I mean? No, you don't no, need to be romantically involved. No one's having involved, sex with no yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. It's just a fun thing. Yeah. You know, I'm going to party with celebrities. Yeah. I want to hang out with my friends my colleagues yeah. for drinks and all that stuff yeah. and if that becomes a problem for you mm. that to you breaches your definition of loyalty yeah. then that to me will feel like loyalty to you means hindering mm. my my life ah. yeah. yeah and it shouldn't feel that way like Correct. relationships shouldn't feel that hard have you ever been tempted to cheat on Pat or has she ever been tempted to cheat on you and have you guys had this conversation before an open conversation I think, especially in our industry, there's a lot of temptation. Mm-hmm. Do you do you act on it? Do you explore it? It's a choice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. And and there are many times, I think, mm. that I've been tempted. Mm, okay. But I wouldn't... Yeah, you didn't. Not, yeah, I yeah. didn't. Yeah, I don't need your help to cover up for me. Yeah. I never, I never. <laughs> we, can, we do not talk about this at all. Here's a question as well. Like, if, if, okay, uh. either one of you decides to be like, hey, you know, I found this person very attractive, would you be okay if I slept with this person? Would you ever oh, wow. foresee this conversation? Because sometimes, okay, and I've had this conversation with my friends before where we said, would you rather your partner cheat on you or right. your partner be open about him or her wanting to sleep with someone else? Right. I would like to think I would be. But but not in the way you set it up. Okay. But it's more yeah. like, shall we... Oh. Explore oh. whether or not together. Oh, okay. But shall we explore? Then we go and find a person. What do you mean you go and find a person first, then you bring the follow to me? You know <laughs> okay. what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I get it. It I has get to it. be mentally that stage, that step we make together. Okay, in my experience of one person yes. in my one China life, I wanna say that I think loyalty takes both parties. Mm-hmm. Right? And Loyalty should not mean ownership or slavery. If me being loyal to the other person requires me to sacrifice a lot of elements of my life, why do I want to be loyal?